when they have not, they have lost. So the Lakers want to jump out to a good start here tonight. Our officiating crew tonight, Joe Crawford, Bill Spooner, and Greg Willard, and here come the Los Angeles Lakers. Screened by Pau Gasol. Fisher now over Sterling. Now, very positive sign that time. It was a strong move by Fisher. He has been struggling from the floor. They're going to need guys to make shots because the Rockets are going to try to keep Kobe Bryant out of that lane area. They're going to make guys make jump shots. Our test coming off a terrific game one. Picked up by Ariza. Six on the shot clock. That is a foul. On our test, first shot tonight. With 11.25 to play here in the first. And again, six seconds on the shot clock. And the foul... We'll go on Fisher for the first time. That's what I was talking about. Ariza guarding our test. Our test is stronger and can take him down in the post. And Kev, we'll talk about tonight the beginning of the game. We've already hit upon Houston when they get off to a great start. The story, it was the Lakers shooting. They shoot 44% in game one. Only two of 18 from three. Are they going to be able to make shots tonight? And how about the co-stars? Who along with Kobe Bryant? It's Lamar Odom and Pau Gasol. Both of these two guys have to play better than they did in game one. And then the ending... The emotional finish for the Rockets all year long. They've been handled big time by the Lakers in that fourth quarter. All the games have been close. The Lakers have rushed back to win all four. The other night, the Lakers took a one-point lead. A great finish by the Rockets to hold them off, to win game one, and get home court. It's Kobe Bryant over Betty, and Kobe hits his first shot. I've talked to Kobe before the game. He said, you know, I've heard all this stuff between the games. He said, all I know is I hit 10 of my last 19 shots. I'm coming out tonight, and I'm fired. Here is Brooks, the mismatch on Odom. Now we get the foul, who deflects the shot, and picked up by Kobe Bryant. Ahead to Fisher, met by Brooks. The Saul and Yao. The Lakers have started 3-3. Three of three. Oh, It's a different team, and again, they had a, a long time off between games, about a week off. They were rusty with their shooting. They came out, they were flat. They were out of sync offensively. A much better start here tonight by the Lakers. Our test against the reason. Look at the congestion inside the lane. And Odom picks it up. Knocked away by our test. Picked up by Yao. Yao to Skola. Pretty pass. There's the two right there with the defending Odom at his heels. Now one of the things the Rockets, they're not a team that forces turnovers. They don't get easy points. So all those kind of points really feed into them now being able to get back and get their defense set. Now it's his first shot. As did Kobe over Batty. Kobe Bryant has started 2-2. Two two. Well, Kobe the other night, he took 31 shots to get 32 points. About one point per shot. And that's what Shane Battio's goal is tonight. Already four points on two shots. Reasons on our chest. Now doubled by Odom. Freeing up Stola, but closed by Odom. People who have not seen a lot of the Rockets, that's what he can do. Luis Scola used to getting all the double teams on Yao Ming. That is his shot. He's inside. Odom with the feed. Yao in between. More congestion. And picked up by Ron Artest. We're seeing some cross matchups, Doug, in this game already. Yeah, that's what's going to be a problem. Now you've seen uh, Kobe Bryant here on Ron Artest. So you've seen guys now Scola with the So you're going to see a lot of that now because guys... Not guarding the guys that are playing them. A three by our test. Kobe with the close. The rebound by Gasol. Three on three. Two oh, and he goes over Bettier. There's that cross matching I talked about. Trevor Ariza, who's being played by Scola. Scola went for the offensive rebound, and nobody gets back to Ariza. Only 10 fast break points for the Lakers in game one. They have got to get out on the break. That is their strength. Ariza with two. Scola with it. Note him on him. That's deflected out of bounds. Pat Fisher got it, and it was off of Brooks and out of bounds. The first turnover for the Houston Rockets. Now you see right here Ariza with a powerful finish. So already the Lakers are pushing the ball better. They're more active defensively. They're sharing the ball better. Right. With Bannier and Stowe on it. Stowe runs over and covers Ariza. Shot clock at nine. Kobe again with that double clutch. First miss, rebound by Yao. That is his second rebound tonight. And when you watch Shane Battier, he does not try to block Kobe Bryant's shot. He tries to get a hand literally in his face on every shot. It's Scola across the lane into Odom. And Luis Scola with a nice little start. He's got four. See, he can, Odom cannot play him down there in the low post. That's a problem. Bryant by Yao. 
Jacoby has shot a couple from outside, slashing inside. That's the variety his game possesses. Well, the Rockets' game plan is to keep him away from the rim, and that time they did not do that. You do not want to give Kobe Bryant layups or free throws. The test took a couple defenders in the lane with him. Now Brooks throws to Yao. Brooks had 14 in the second half of game one. It was terrific. Part of the big win, and there was a steal by Fisher. The second turnover by Houston. Ariza, Oda, the side. And Strola watches. If the Rockets turn the ball over, they won't win this game. They were very fortunate the other night. Only the third time all year did they have more turnovers and assists and win the game. The other night, 16 assists and 18 turnovers. It's Brooks, a screen by Scola. There was a late close by Fisher, and they come the other way with Gasol grabbing the rebound, number two. Lakers have started 7-9. Daddy watches Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant has started this game 4-5 with eight points in the opening five minutes of this game. I told you, he told me before the game he was coming out on fire. He's a man of his word. It's, he's had three three long jump shots, a layup, four of five. More importantly, all the guys are involved. They're much more active. You see Shane trying to get a hand in his face. On that one, he misses. This one just steps back, hand in the face and all, knocks down the jump shot. The great concentration, shaking his head, said not tonight. Lakers on a 6-0 run. They lead by eight. Much different team than we saw in game one. Brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Low fares, no hidden fees. By Gatorade Tiger. It's hydration for concentration. Theanine, electrolytes, and low calorie. By Arby's. Come in today and try the delicious new roast burger. It's the burger done better. I'm thinking Arby's. And by Sprite. I'm not concerned about his health at all. Um... You know, more so just him rebuilding that energy that it takes. You know, once you've been ill, you know, you have to regenerate that energy. And uh, you saw him stronger today, and I think he'll be much stronger uh, in game two than he was in game one in terms of his overall energy. He had the sore throat, flu-like symptoms. Boy, he's come out on fire, Doug, to start this game two. Well, Kobe made no excuses after game one. He said, there was nothing wrong with my health. So, you know, that, that's one thing you appreciate about him is, you know, we got beat. We're going to be better in game two. How about uh, eight, uh, 16 points already? 18 the entire first quarter for the Lakers in game one. Shot clock at three. That is a three. And it was hit by Ron Artest. A reason the close. And Artest has started one of three. He's got five. Which is the deficit for the Rockets to start. Screen by Gasol. This is over both Yao and Pettier. Kobe Bryant has got 10. It was 4 of 12 in the first half of game one. Brooks, Battier, Artest. Yeah, Gasol on him. Will Ariza try to hedge with his defense? He does with the double. Snapping it outside the end of Battier. The close by Kobe. That is another three. The second consecutive by the Rockets, who come to within four, and Battier with his first three. That's that inside-outside action again, uh, where Yao Ming catches the ball, kicks it back out, then gets a second double team. Shane was 0 for 4 from 3 in game one. It's Gasol over Yao, who picks up the foul. You're a big fan of the way that uh, Houston runs this inside-outside game. Well, look what happens. You get the double team, and now you get three guys converging, and Shane Battier, that's what he likes to do spot up normally the corners are his spot and that's what he brings this team when you talk about the Rockets what their strengths their strengths are their defense they have two all league defenders second defend team defenders that were chosen today Shane Batty Ron Artest they have a shot blocker in the middle they defend the paint they want to get to the free throw line especially late in games because Yao Ming is such a great free throw shooter so getting in the penalty early is critical and then three-point shooting in game one, they only shot 5 of 18. Everybody's talking about how poorly the, the uh, Lakers shot it. The 5 of 18 for the Rockets, who shoot it at almost 38% on the regular season, which was a franchise record. Yao Ming picked up his first personal foul, and just beyond the halfway point of our first quarter. Starters out there for everybody. That is Gola Yao, our test, and Brooks for Houston. There goes our chest trying to pick and poke his way on the wing. There is a whistle across the way and a foul. And it will be assessed Kobe Bryant for the first time tonight for Los Angeles. With no Tracy McGrady, who used to do a lot of the ball handling, you got Aaron Brooks who will push it. But you also see Ron Artest will handle the ball a lot tonight. He had seven assists in game one. He's, it's critical for him to take care of that ball. Brooks with a three. Fisher let him fire. Quick releasing Fisher the other way. 
over Brooks to two. And Terrence Fisher, they started two at two and dunked the guards of the Lakers. About scored the starting guards of the Rockets, 14 to five. Well, you can see early in this game, the Lakers are looking for a lot more early offense. They do not want to let Houston get set. Here's another turnover, the quick hands of Kobe Bryant. Third turnover, alley -oop. It goes to Gasol, the assist to Lamar Odom. The second assist for Odom. Gasol's got seven. The Lakers have hit seven consecutive shots. See, that's what they want. Gasol sprinting down the floor. They call it a post lane sprint. And Lamar Odom is an excellent playmaker. Beautiful pass. It's another thing that Odom brings to this attack. Another creator off the grip. Just drawing the double. Scola over a late arriving Kobe Bryant. And Scola has started strong with his three of four start and six points. That's what happens when you have to double Ron Artest. That frees up that open jump shot. We've seen a couple threes. We've also seen that jump shot. Ariza with three. That was right over Stola. Ariza with five. Doug the Lakers shooting 86% from the field. Well, Stola has to give Ariza room because of the quickness. That shot will be there now. He was 0 for 4 the other night from three point line, but in the Utah series, Ariza 11 of 18. Yeah, Stola doubled. May have been deflected by Pau Gasol. Here comes Kobe Bryant, five of six. Badia needs a, a three. Oh my God! We are seeing a special beginning for Kobe Bryant with 13 points in the first eight minutes of this game. This pace is way, way, way too fast for Houston right now. They've somehow got to get control. This is going to be an offensive foul. So the speed and quickness right now by the Lakers really uh, taking its toll on the Rockets, who are a bigger, stronger team. You want to get in that half court and execute, use a lot of that shot clock. And right now, the Lakers are on the way to about a 40-point first quarter. Skola picks up his first personal foul. Here is Derek Fisher. Oda picked up by Artest. Battier is on Kobe. Skola has Ariza. Shot clock at seven. Battier watching Bryant. Saul ready for a screen. Doesn't need to set. Kobe oh! with only his second miss tonight. In eight tries, it is off the Rockets, it is out of bounds. Los Angeles will inbound. Now watch Shane Battier's hand. Look at his hand go right in the face of Kobe Bryant. I don't know if we can even see the rim. He's shaking his head. Obviously, he's getting a good look at it. And uh, the Rockets right now are shaking their heads. Look at this right now. Look at Shane Battier. Gets a hand right in the face of Kobe Bryant. You talk about concentration, knocking shots down, and the, the Lakers are on a roll. Aerial coverage tonight provided by Goodyear. And the new Fuel Max tires help you get there using less gas. Fuel Max only from Goodyear. Angeles for the Gatorade around the cooler. We go back over to our Craig Sager. Well, so far, Kobe Bryant is getting the best of Shane Battier, but not because Battier isn't trying or isn't prepared. Well, some people celebrated Cinco de Mayo yesterday. Battier was studying more analytical numbers. This is his package on how to guard Kobe Bryant. He updated it after Monday night's game. It breaks the floor down into different squares, calculates the odds of Bryant making a shot from different places under different forms of pressure in relationship to different players he's playing with, how he is off screen to rolls, how he is on pick and rolls, and catch and shoots. The book says that if he goes to the lane, he's just as likely to go to his left as his right, but he's less effective going to his left. It also says that if you follow him or get him in the lane, it's deadly, and if he's going to shoot, it's better to have him shoot directly after a pass instead of dribbling. But Battier also says he does pretty much everything better than anybody else. I can't stop him. I just have to make it difficult for him. Kevin? Great stuff, Craig. The Saul now at nine. Rockets have their largest deficit of the playoffs. Eight to shoot our test across the lane and right into Trevor Ariza. That's a tough matchup for Ariza. Just the strength of our test. He weighs about 255 pounds, Kevin. But 11 fast break points already. 11 to nothing. The Saul going to work. This is going to be Yao Ming's second foul. This is what, in the game the other night, remember when Craig Sager came into the third quarter was asking Phil Jackson about the game, and he said, I don't like the way we're using Pal Gasol. And tonight you're seeing he's using his speed and quickness against Yao Ming. He has run the floor. He has got in the paint. He's posted him. He's drawn a couple, he drew a couple fouls on him. 
But the pace of the game, Kevin, 10 fast break points for the Lakers in game one. Already 11 tonight. 11 to 0. That's what I was talking about. The pace of the game with Odom in the, on the floor. They're faster, and Gasol is a tough matchup speed-wise for Yao Ming. Von Wafer comes in for Shane Battier. Lowry comes in for Brooks. Chuck Hayes comes in for Yao. Three substitutions for the Houston Rockets. Walton has come in for Ariza. And Jordan Farmar has come in for Derek Fisher. Now Paul Gasol has 11 with Kobe Bryant's 13. Seven. From our test, leading so far, the Houston Rockets. Paul Gasol in the first half of the other night, one of five for four points. He and Kobe have already combined for 24. Wafer, who did not score the other night, stole it with the screen. Now Odin comes out on our test. A double by Walton. Man. Nice, hard shot made by Ron Artest. He has started three of five. He's got ten. The Rockets just have to take this search. Can they hang around to where their defense can get some kind of handle on this Laker attack? It's out to Bryant over our test for three. Rebound by Chuck Hayes, his first. This is speed right now that uh, the Rockets have gone to. We have to be very careful not to get into a quick run and shoot. It is Skoa grinding inside on Odom. And Luis Skoa continues his strong start. He's got eight points. See, Skoa the other night in the game was only four of nine, ten points. So with the change in starting lineup, it helps Skoa. He has eight. What a screen by Gasol. Knocked down our test. It's Odom inside of Ensley. And it's brought in by Lowry. He'll race the other way. Finding Wafer. Over Wolf into score. This match, Wafer over Gasol. That's a good hit for Wafer, a former second round pick by the Los Angeles Lakers, playing with his 15 now in his career. Houston on a 7 0 run. Well, they've taken that emotional hit, the tremendous play by the Lakers, and they're down only eight points. This this Rocket team is a very tough mentally te mental team and physical team as Kobe misses the shot. But Gasol is right there with the tip in. His 13 matching Kobe Bryant's 13 to start the game with a minute to play here in the first quarter. I think that uh, Gasol got the memo about toughness in the paint and being aggressive tonight for Phil Jackson. Our chest over Walton for three. Bad shot. He didn't take many in game one. That one was. Both teams have a foul to give. Jordan Farmar who had a three at the end of one of the quarters in game one. Walton is coming off a torn tendon in his foot. Has been inactive the last handful of games. Is over there and shoved by Ron Artest, who picks up his first personal foul for the Houston Rockets. Well, Jordan Farmar in the game tonight. Uh, Phil Jackson felt like his speed and quickness might be better against this team than uh, Shannon Brown. So that's why he gets the call tonight instead of Shannon Brown, who has played well in the playoffs. Wafer is watching Walton. There's a foul called on Vaughn Wafer. It comes with 32.1 to play here in the first, and Wafer picks up his first personal foul. So this will put Luke Walton at the free throw line. We told you he had a partially torn ligament in his left foot back in that Utah series on April 25th. Luke stands at the free throw line right now in the postseason. Only three of four from the strike. In the regular year, 72% national coverage of the NBA playoffs will continue. Tomorrow on ESPN, it's game two of the Hawks and Cavs. Coverage begins at 7.30 Eastern time. There goes Gasol. Here comes Josh Powell. Saturday on ABC. Game three of the Cavs and Hawks. Coverage starts at 8 o'clock Eastern time. And then Sunday on TNT, it's game four of the Celtics and the Magic. Boston sent a little message to Orlando tonight. Yeah, once again, uh, Rajon Rondo was terrific. How about Paul Pierce got in foul tour? The last time I looked, he'd only played 10 minutes in that game, so he could have got a long rest. they got to be a little concerned about Ray for Austin, though. Hit uh, Rajon Rondo, or Eddie House in the back of the head. We'll have to see what happens with that, if there's any uh, penalty from the league for game three. Lowry pushing the accelerator against Josh Powell. It was off of the Houston Rockets. See, Walton being back was going to help this second unit too. This second unit that was so good for the Lakers last year has really struggled. Lujic has not shot it well. Farmer has, Farmer has struggled. Luke Walton is a good facilitator with that second unit. We have not even seen Andrew Bynum yet. 71% shooting for the Los Angeles Lakers. Hayes picks up on the switch. The rotation. Kobe Bryant who hits the jump shot. Kobe Bryant has just registered a 15-point first quarter. 
completely controlling the game. And that is a gigantic Los Angeles Laker lead. 14-point advantage at the end of one on TNT. Gotcha, you got you keep playing. That's all you can do. Back to you, Kevin. Well, what he's talking about there, 11-0 fast break points. Kevin, I talked about... Uh, in game one, they only had 10 fast break points. And we talked to Rick Adam before the game. He said they didn't come at us to start the game like we thought they were going to. Well, they have tonight. And Houston has to respond to get themselves back in the transition game. Lowry working around Shaq oh. Brown and into Chuck Hayes, who was rather Landry, who was uh, whacked inside. Looked like maybe Odom caught him up high. Hayes and Landry are in with Wafer. In the backcourt, they've got Lowry along with Brooks. Odom picks up his first personal foul. Yao is on the bench with two fouls for the Houston Rockets. Well, it's an interesting lineup for the Lakers because as the Rockets have gone small with Brooks and Lowry in the backcourt and Von Wafer as a small forward, Phil Jackson has countered, and he has Farmar in the game with Shannon Brown, and now Sasha Grujic is playing at the small forward position. So Phil's going to get a chance now. He loves his second unit to be a speed lineup. They'll go to... They'll go to uh, Bind him in the post. We have Lamar Odom out there now as a power forward and three fast players on the perimeter. So it's going to be imperative right now for the Rockets to really get back defensively. There's Vujicic, and he finds Bynum in that heavy brace on that repaired right knee inside to Odom. It was rejected by Landry. That's a goal 10. Counted for two. And Odom with his first basket tonight. And one of the things the Lakers have done in that Utah series, got big leads relaxed a little bit you can see very similar to game two against uh, utah here how well the lakers shot that ball as big as their lead was they let utah back in the game so i think phil jackson would like to see his team play consistently longer he thought their defense was very spotty in that utah series offense good defense very spotty wafer just hit over odom and wafers come off the bench two and two landry is on odom Rebound by Chuck Hayes off the bench with his second rebound. And that jump shot will be there for Odom because Landry cannot get out and guard him on the perimeter. Screen by Hayes. It's over Farmer. That's a two. Now the Rockets, Doug, are shooting 60% themselves. It's an 11-point game. Well, the difference is it's fast breaks. Rick Adelman said to Craig Sager, you got to get back and stop transition. That's the difference in the game right now. The 11 points, 11-0 fast break. Looks for two, his first. And here comes Landry grabbing the rebound. The miss inside. Flying the other way is Lowry. Knife and right by both Odom and Bynum. Wafer for three. Good. That's a big three by Wafer when the Rockets need it most. He's got seven. How about the shooting in this game two of the semifinals in the West? As I said, Houston's not going to go away. I mean, the Lakers are going to have to play consistently well yep. all night long to win this game. This is Shannon Brown with a hanging shot where well, you got a tough matchup. Two very strong guards, Brandon Lowry. Two speed guys in Brooks and Farmar, and then the small forward, two irritants, and Julia Chich and Wafer. We got some good matchups out there right now. Brown's got two. Wafer leading the double. We have the shot clock down to seven. Here comes Brooks. And a quick has a defense from Bynum. Outside for Lowry. Makes the move on Brown. Odom was defending too. Hayes was uh, watching as Landry grabs the loose ball and goes to the rack. And Landry gets the basket. Landry has come off the bench with three. Vujicic picks up the foul. And, and he also had a big offensive rebound that he kicked out the gun. They've got Von Wafer a three. So high energy. And Kevin, you've heard me talk through the years about how I love benches that can come in with great energy. That's what's happened for Houston. They've come in with speed, high energy players, and they've cut into that deficit. It's only seven now as Kobe Bryant gets a rest. Right on the bench with 15 points for Los Angeles. Here is Farmer. To Vujicic coming off an Odom screen. Now he looks into Landry inside. Top and try by, by uh, Bynum all day. And here comes Wafer. He tries a double team. Vujicic and Prime smothering him. They call the jump ball. Well, much, much more tenacious defense tonight by the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, Von Wafer gets himself in trouble here. He's trying to get away from Shannon Brown. Vujic does a nice job of chasing him down from behind, gets him in that trapping area. Let's see who controls his tip. 
Rockets get a score here, they can cut it to five. The three would cut it to four. So I mean, this this game dramatically has switched quickly. That's how quickly the games can change, especially when you can shoot the three-point shot. Rockets average over eight makes a game from behind that three-point line. You like with Lowry and Brooks around the court at the same time. Gives them better ball handling. And the Laker pressure does not bother them as much. And Wayford, the small forward, doesn't have to worry about trying to play against the pressure. Landry over Odom. With the Brooks fly in there, collide in mid-flight with Vujicic, and pick up the foul. Aaron Brooks picks up his first personal foul for the Houston Rockets. He was such a factor in game one. Now you can see that ball is going on the rim, though, and they're making a conscious effort to try to get second shots. Timeout taken. We're just about three minutes into this second quarter. And the Rockets, who trailed by 15, now down 43-36 on TNT. We've got a 43-36 game here in the early stages of the second quarter in this Game 2 of the Western Conference semifinals. And it's time now for the Bud Light Lime around the league as we take a look at the remaining rising stars in these NBA playoffs and Doug, how well they have all been playing. Well, congratulations to LeBron James, MVP. I think he's the youngest ever at 24. Uh, what a wonderful year LeBron is having. Big game last night. He came out, started that game off with a dunk and never looked back. Carmelo Anthony how about the Denver Nuggets and how well they are playing 2-0 lead on Dallas Aaron Brooks in this series Dwight Howard and the Magic bouncing back Josh Smith winning their first round series Rajon Rondo was in within one rebound of averaging a triple double of the series we did Boston Chicago and Andrew Bynum who uh, has struggled with that knee injury but uh, has all kinds of upside and they would like to see him uh, start showing some of that flashes that he has shown throughout his career in his, uh, in his young career what was throwing inside for Shannon Brown? He was in a straight jacket with some nice defense applied by Chuck Hayes, among other Rockets in there. They call the jump ball. Rockets are plus six above the three-point arc, but the Lakers are plus 11 points in fast break points, and the Lakers in points off turnovers plus four. Yeah, but I, I guess LeBron was not the youngest. I just got word from the truck that Kareem and Wes, Sun Wes Sunsell were both younger, so my apologies to those two guys. Just with Kareem right across the way. Yeah, I don't want to mess with Kareem. No. Landry. Lowry. And it was basket interference by Landry. Now, this is great hustle by the referee, Bill Spooner. He is sprinting down there to see if there's a foul, but more importantly, he is right on the baseline. You see the referee right over there on the side. He has a great look to see if that ball is in the cylinder or if it's coming out. He ruled that that ball was still in the cylinder. Shannon Brown with a great effort there. Looked like it was falling out to me, Doug. You better talk to Billy Spooner. <laughs> okay. There's Bryant back in the game. And faces an avalanche of rocket defenders inside, and they're trying to collapse the lane. Looks like Von Wafer indeed has picked up his second personal foul. Wafer a non-factor in game one, but Doug, he's come off the bench tonight in seven minutes and put in seven points. Yeah, but he hasn't handled the ball. They played him as a small forward. That has helped him against this Laker pressure. Vujicic put the pressure on him. He was trying to ball handle the other night, and he really struggled. Vujicic over Lowry. Well, Sasha Vujicic is way off with his shooting, and last year he shot 43% from that three-point line. It was a big part of them getting to the finals. Lowry to Landry. Pushed down by Bynum, who picks up the foul. He got in foul trouble. Did Bynum early in game one. Had to sit on the bench. There's Yao. He's on the rocket bench with two personal fouls. That is the first on Andrew Bynum of L.A. Well, you think about this now. The, the Rockets are making this push with Yao Ming on the bench with two fouls, which is important. But look, look at this. Uh, Kevin, the th uh, three-point shooting struggles in game one, the team percentage two of 18, the worst in playoff a game since 2001. And these are their best three-point shooters. Again, the, the guys who were making threes against Utah were Trevor Reza, Shannon Brown, and, uh, and not Bowie, and, and uh, excuse me, and, uh, and Lamar Odom. And those are not their three-point shooters. So the game plan of the Rockets is try to make those guys make three-point shots and close the, load, the lane down on Kobe. Since Yao Doug has been on the bench, the Rockets are plus seven points since Yao picked up his second personal foul. Here comes Kobe the other way, and Von Wafer is on him. The third different defender on Kobe tonight. Kobe Bryant 
has got a game high 17. Well, when will we see Shane Battier get back in the game to run our test? Normally, they want one of those guys on him at all times. Brooks to Landry, and Landry right around. Walt. There's a guy who they thought maybe his career might be finished this year. He got shot in the leg uh, in a carjacking and was able to come back after about three weeks. Very fortunate that uh, the Hunt was seriously injured. Here's Shannon Brown, who is now 7 of 10 from the behind the arc in the playoffs. Landry put in his seven point moments ago. And Brown has now got five in five minutes. Lowry wheeling inside by Bynum. The rebound by Vujicic. And the Lakers on the move. Drops it off for Kobe. Picked up by Wafer. Out to the uncovered Brown. Late closed by Landry. Brooks out dueled a much taller Walton. And down court for Landry. And Brown with the swipe. And Brown with the steal. Brown. Walton for three. The close by Lowry. The rebound by Landry of Houston. Pace way too fast right now for the Rockets. They want to slow this down a little bit. Rick Adelman says, I want to get a timeout. I want to get Shane back in the ball game to get against Kobe. Down by nine here, 6.50 to go. Rick Adelman does not want this to get to double digits or 14 or 15 points going in at halftime. And 15 has been the largest Laker lead tonight. That's a live shot from our Goodyear blimp of the Staples Center here in downtown L.A. Doug, the Rockets pride themselves on defense, a top 10 team in defending points scored against and field goal defense this year. Well, just look at when the Rockets have won. This is the amount of points they have given up in their wins. That big game one, they won that one 107 to 81. That was a romp from the start. Then they win like 86, 83, 89, 88, 92, 76. And then uh, in game one, 100 to 92. That's what I was talking about, Kevin, the pace of the game and when they're at their best. Right now, the Lakers sitting on 48 points here with almost seven minutes to go in the half. The Rockets have got to try to calm this game down. Fisher has come in for Bynum. Yao is in for Hayes. Battier is in it's for Wafer. The shot clock is down to nine. This is Brooks, and he's picked up by Fisher. Gasol is back in the game, too, for the Lakers. Yao way outside. Two seconds on the shot clock. There's a late foul called on Fisher. Well, very lucky there because that, that was a dead possession. That shot clock was winding down about one second to go. Now, Aaron Brooks was so good in game one, 7 of 14. Uh, 14 of those 19 points came in the second half tonight, only one of four. And Kyle Lowry, who was also very good, they combined for 25 points. He is 0 of 3, so the Lakers have done a better job on the point guards for the Rockets here early. Screen by Landry over Ariza. It's a three by Lowry. A good looking rebound by Yao. Digging inside. That is a foul. Oh, an offensive foul here. Is this on Yao Ming for pushing off? If it is, that's his third. It is number three, much to the chagrin of Coach Rick Adelman. Let's watch his off arm. Keep your eye on his off arm. The ball goes up. He gets the rebound. Now watch his right arm. Oh, he jumps in. He rules that he jumps into Gasol. So that is the third foul, and uh, down the nine here. They're going to they're put Hayes back in here, Doug, at the next stop of your play, which is right now. As Yao is continuing to plead his case. A fourth turnover right there. The third foul on Yao. The fourth turnover just seconds ago by the Los Angeles Lakers. Well, Yao Ming in game one, 28 points, 10 rebounds. At 12 of those points in the fourth quarter, more importantly, stepping up and knocking down eight out of eight free throws when that game was on the line. So he's got to be very careful not to pick up a fourth foul here on the offensive end. Brooks to Battier. Kobe is on Shane. Landry picks up a double, including Kyle and Kobe Bryant. And the foul is out on the floor. And it comes with 6-0-1 to play here in the second quarter. And the foul is on Josh Powell. That is the first on him. So Hayes comes in. There goes Yao. Our test comes in the game. There goes Lowry. So our test, Landry, Brooks, Shane Battier, and Chuck Hayes, the Rocket Five on the floor. Now, that'll probably put Chuck Hayes on Gasol. And I've talked about how Chuck Hayes does a nice job of using his body against bigger players to try to take away their legs. So let's see if Powell Gasol can do a good job. The other night, he did a nice job on Bynum in the post. And here we are with the uh, Rockets at the 6-0-1 mark. They're already going to be shooting free throws here, I think, the rest of this way. That, that was a team foul five on the Lakers. And so Shane Batty, who talked about one of the key things for our team is getting to that free throw line early in quarters. Let's say even with the Al Ming on the bench, if they're able to take advantage of that. 
All the starters in for Los Angeles except Lamar Odom, who started tonight in place of Bynum. Powell is taking the place of Odom on the floor right now. So you got Kobe and Fisher, Gasol and Ariza. Chuck Hayes is on Gasol. Fisher, late close by Brooks. That is a three. And Fisher continues to struggle with his three-point shooting in the last three, four games of these playoffs. Well, going into the game tonight, he was 5 of 20 from that three-point line. Five and a half to play in the half. The test is uh, wrestling with Ariza. The quick double by Powell. Chuck Hayes over Gasol. Chuck Hayes with some scoring. What do you, you call that? Found money. That's found money, money right there. <laughs> found money. Any point he scores, go to Vegas, put it in the slot. How about this, Doug? A six point game. Some great shooting between the two. That is a traveling violation. That is a Laker turnover. And the quarter, we've only seen Los Angeles, Doug, go 4 13 for the field. And that causes a little bit of uh, concern for. Phil Jackson. Absolutely. This game is turning here right here. Plus 10 for the uh, Houston bench. So Rick Adelman has got to be thrilled. What was once a great strength of that Lakers has now been a weakness. And it's great strength right now for the Houston Rockets. They double our chest. He's against Gasol. Great ball movement. Manny, this is what they did in game one. The great ball movement. Great hit by our chest. Gasol flies by. A three by Ron Artest, who brings him even closer. He's played 13 minutes. He's got 13 points. It's a three-point game. Loose inside. More rocket defense. Battier comes up with it right there. Yep. Turnover number six for Los Angeles. Bad decision there by Derek Fisher. No place to go. Artest by Ariza. Looking for Landry. Ah! And out of bounds with 13 seconds on the shot clock in Houston will inbound the ball and here comes Odom back in the game Well, you know, you think the Rockets got the Lakers attention in game one They have really gotten it now because they, they came out and the Lakers jumped all over them had things their way Kobe had a brilliant first quarter Pal Gasol and all of a sudden this game is settling down Rockets only down by one possession. Odom is in. Powell goes to the Laker bench. The quick double right here with Ariza and Odom. And that is a foul. It goes on Trevor Ariza. That is the first. Our test was guarded by Ariza. Number one on Trevor. Rockets currently on a 6 nothing run right now. Free throws coming up. 425 to play in the half. As we talk about uh, getting the family together for brand new episodes of Tyler Perry's House of Pain, followed by a new season premiere of Tyler Perry's Meet the Browns. Wednesday, May 27th, starting at 9, 8 central only on TBS with Doug Collins and Craig Sager, Kevin Harlan. Are you surprised that our test has played and, and conformed to this team in his first year with the Rockets because he's got a history, as you know, of suspensions and blow-ups? Yeah, but if you think about it, he played very well for Rick Adelman in Sacramento. So obviously there is a, a feeling there that uh, Rick knows how to handle him and know, knows what to say to him, when to say it, knows when to say nothing. And, and this team has done a nice job of fitting him into what they're doing. Five consecutive misses by the Los Angeles Lakers. A missed three right there by Ariza, well said. Brooks to our test. See, when you get to the foul line too, Kevin, you get your defense back. Now, now, you, now the game is no longer a running game. 11 fast breaks in the first quarter for the Lakers. None here. For the first lead, Ron Artest has just given the Houston Rockets their first lead tonight. He's got 17, which matches the 17 of Kobe Bryant. We've had a 16-point turnaround in this first half. Yao playing in foul trouble with three, so he's been relegated to the bench. So Ron Artest has put his foot on the throttle. A 10-0 run by the Rockets. Artest with 17, and the Rockets have their first lead on TNT. Sager, Kevin Harlan, Rockets on top by one, under four to play in the first half. Well, when Greg Sager interviewed Rick Adelman at the end of the first quarter, he said, how did it go, coach? He said, not good, because they came at us, and they were in the open court. Zero fast break points in this quarter for the Lakers. Now what's happened is as Houston has started making shots, you can see what they're doing here in this quarter. It has settled them down. They've gotten to the line nine times, none in the none for the Lakers. What's happened is they've made shots, they've got back, and how about 17 of the 24 points in this quarter has been by the Rockets bench. Lakers scoreless the last three minutes and 50 seconds. Kobe Bryant is 8 at 12. Battier defending. Kobe was going up and lost the ball. Shot clock at 10. So there's plenty of time here. Screen by Gasol. Switch on defense. Hayes on Kobe. Gasol knocks a pass outside for Ariza. It's Fisher on Brooks with two to shoot. 
And Fish has been accurate tonight. Three of four, six points. It breaks a 10-0 run by the Houston Rockets. I thought Kyle Gasol passed up a shot there. It almost got his team in trouble. Fisher made a nice play working against that shot clock. Rockets are plus 12, while Yao has been on the bench with his foul trouble tonight. Landry goes right into Kyle Gasol, and off the bench, Doug, he's put in 10. Well, Gasol slow in the rotation. They're double-teaming now Land, or excuse me, uh, Artest down on that post against Ariza. Gasol's got to get over there and defend that shot on Landry, not let him lay the ball in the basket. I mean, that's uh, 10 points for Landry. Kobe over Battier. Rebound by Odom, his fifth. Kobe against Battier again. Gasol over Keys. How Gasol, one of Doug's keys tonight, 15 points in 15 minutes. He thought the start of both Odom and Gasol and Horton, well, Gasol is holding up his end of the bargain. Well, and you see, when Kobe Bryant gets in the lane, they're going to make somebody else make jump shots. That They're going to collapse. It's the same thing they did on Brandon Roy in the Portland series. Landry and Kobe lets him fire. Who is this guy? Found oh, money, as Landry. you talk about. Four of five, Doug. 12 points on five shots. He's been fantastic again with Yao Ming on the bench. Yao Ming's only played 10 minutes tonight, has one field goal. All those Landry points have come here in the second quarter. Ariza for three, Landry the close. The rebound by Brooks. The Lakers are now shooting 55%, 60% shooting by the Houston Rockets. And a whistle blows away from the ball, and it comes with 2 3 to play here in the second quarter. Second foul on Ariza. Now, the free throw shooting of this uh, Houston team, we talked about it a couple nights ago, Doug, in game one. It's very potent. This team was almost built for guys that get to the line because they believe that they, this is an advantage for the Rockets by their you know, their GM, Dale Moore. Well, it, it's big because your center is one of the best all-time shooting uh, guys from the free throw line in the NBA history. And so when you go to him in the fourth quarter of a game and he gets fouled and you're in a penalty... I mean, he's going to step up and make them. The other night in the fourth quarter, he was 8 of 8 from the line. His team was 16 of 17 from the line when the Lakers made that push in the fourth quarter to actually take that lead. And look at this. So you talk about these are the great centers at the line. Free throw percentage and playoff career. Look at Moses Malone, Jabbar, Hakeem, Bill Russell, Shaq, Will. Look at Yao Ming, 84%. Unbelievable. And that's, uh, you know, if you're going to play through your center at the end of the game, it's nice when they can make free throws. Rebound by Gasol. Rebound by Gasol. Andrews got 13 points, all coming in this quarter. That is a career playoff high. Chuck Hayes picks up Bryant on the rotation as Battier was trailing as well. And Chuck Hayes out of Kentucky undrafted. Guy who's worked his way to a great role in this NBA. Hayes picks up his first. He's just been all work, Doug. That's all this kid does is work. He played in the NBDL, and he's been terrific. Well, for all these young guys out there who are trying to make the league, you know, hard work, find your niche, bring something to a team they don't have, and that's what Hayes has done. And uh, Kobe now starting to cool down a little bit after his quick start. He now has taken 14 shots to get 17 points. No free throw attempt yet in the ball. The shot hit by Hayes, who picks up another foul for the Houston Rockets at the 138 mark of the second quarter. That's the second on Chuck Hayes. Let's go across the country from L.A. to Georgia and go into our Atlanta studios and say good evening to Ernie Johnson. Well, right, good evening to you also, Kevin. Southwest Airlines game break coming up in just a few minutes. Charles and Kenny will be here to break down the first half in L.A. Kenny will be doing who knows what at the thingamajig back in the studio. We'll have highlights of game two in the Magic Celtics series and we'll wrap up the night with inside the NBA after the Rockets and Lakers. Now, back to Staples Center, guys. How about our man Rajan Rondo with another triple-double, Doug? We saw him do that against the Chicago Bulls. Is your card right? Eddie House, 31 points. Eddie, I repeat what I said to you in Game 7. Your best defense is your offense. Keep firing. <laughs> he looked at you. He was talking on the floor. You were talking about his defense. I said, just keep shooting. I'll show you defense, he said. Here's a switch. Now the guy gets all on our chest. Left by Wolf. Landry, and he's inside. Landry in there, and he comes up with two in that congested lane around Odom and around Walton, and he's got 15 points. Well, that's where they miss by him, his defensive rebound and his big body. Right now, the Lakers are just out tough. Excuse me, the Rockets are out toughing the Lakers in the paint. Hayes is defending the assault. That is a travel. 
what has happened to Los Angeles? They seem out of sync. This is the way they began game more than a couple nights ago, out of sync. Well, I think Phil Jackson, he just read his lips. He said, space the floor and wait. And you can see what's happened. A big part of that is Kobe carried him in the first quarter. He's only one of three for two points here in this second period. So they've done a nice job of forcing other guys to shoot the ball. And Kobe has only had two points. There's a bad foul by Odom on the perimeter. The frustration setting in for the Lakers to commit that kind of foul. And I'm sure Phil's going to talk to him about poise and coming out of that locker room with a sense of purpose. So the foul goes on Odom. And that is his first. Here's Landry at the free throw line, who has single handedly outscored the Lakers in this quarter 15 to 14. What would Gene Keaton say about one of his boilermakers having this kind of a game as he just put in his 16th point? in the quarter well, against the Los Angeles Lakers. He's Gene, he's Gene Cady's kind of player. He's yes. got a huge heart. He's undersized. And, and he has no fear. And he's been in there on those offensive backboards. And he's just wanted the ball more. And that's what Phil's going to have to talk to the Lakers about. The big knock on them last year, and they've not wanted to hear it this year, is, you know, are they going to be tough enough to win an NBA championship? And they're going to have to get back in that paint and start doing the work. Odom. Was guarded by Ron Artest on that drive with 43 seconds to play here in the first half. Number two on Ron Artest, who flew in his barber from Orlando, Florida, to do those wonderful carvings in his head. That's an art right there. That is that is an art form right there. We we actually met his barber the other night after the game. What's his name? Is Bingo or Boogie? Boogie. 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 And the scary part about it is Boogie and Sags were hanging out with each other yeah. the other night after the game. Uh, that's so Sags crowd, though. You I thought that. Sags might come back with one of those the next day. I'd pay to see that. I would pay you to wouldn't see pay that. to see anything. Now, you'd like to see it if somebody <laughs> else paid for it. <laughs> oh, don't come the line. Missing right there. Landry collects the ball. Landry with his... Uh, Fifth rebound. No fouls to give. Our test of a walk. That is a three. Rebound by Powell Gasol. who's had a very solid first half. That is his sixth rebound. A two for one possession that time for the Rockets. So it really wasn't a bad shot for our test. Our test is on Walton. They got Landry on Odom. Battier, of course, is on Kobe. Kobe was on fire to start, but now he is 8 of 14. Walt left three. They let him fire the triple. Rebound by Odom. Knocked out of bounds by Chuck Hayes in his quick hands with just under eight seconds to play in the first half. Well, Kobe's going to share the ball. He's going to drive and dish. Now, Phil Jackson's going to use a 20-second timeout here. But again, that collapsing defense, whether it be Luke Walton or Fish or Ariza, somebody's going to have to start knocking some shot down to give him some space to work. We'll take a time perspective on what you've seen here in the first half of this game. Well, 25 points off the Rockets bench, 16 for Landry, only 7 for the Lakers. That bench continues to struggle. More importantly, after a 39-point first quarter, the Lakers only 15 points in this quarter. So the Rockets, when they got back in transition, they've not given up one fast break point in this quarter after giving up 11 in the first. Walton gets off to Kobe. This is over Battier for three. Kobe Bryant. Has put in 21st half points. Here comes Brooks following the lead of Landry. A three at the buzzer will not go. And that ties the game. Kobe's triple ties the game at 57. And what was a well played second quarter by the Rockets, as well played as the first quarter was by the Los Angeles Lakers. Okay, but I think when you come out in the third quarter, can the Lakers come out with that same energy and passion to start the game and get the tempo where they want it, or can the Rockets come back in that third period and keep the pace where they had it in the second quarter? That's going to be really something for us to watch. They had a 14-point swing in that quarter. Let's send it over to Craig Sager. Where they have the advantage. The Rockets are plus 13 points while Yao is in foul trouble. And sitting on the bench. So the starters are back out there for the Rockets to begin this second half. Battier, Scola, Yao, Artest, and Brooks. And here is Shane Battier working on Kobe Bryant. Ariza is on Artest. Gasol is wrestling with Yao, who lets the drive of Artest go around him inside. Gasol then rotated. He went down to double on the play. And the foul goes on Ariza, Doug, who picks up his third personal foul for the Los Angeles Lakers. You know, that play is very indicative of what we saw 
in the fourth quarter the other night with Aaron Brooks. What's happening is the Lakers are really getting up on, on uh, Yao Ming, and they're not trying to help off of him in the post. So what the Rockets are doing, they're driving baseline, and that weak side help is slow getting there. We saw Brooks get three field goals the other night in a critical stage. This time, Martez drives baseline. He gets that big, strong body on you. He's going to get to the foul line. Fisher the other way with the Reza Odom, Gasol, and Bryant. Odom tonight starting for Bynum. The quick trap on Kobe. Now it's just Manny and his skull goes out and gets the defense on Odom. Knock away by our test. Shot clock at seven. Gasol. Switch now. Battier's on Gasol. Kobe oh. goes to Ariza with the pass. Our test is in the vicinity. He was reaching in. And Ron Artest has picked up the foul. That is the third on the rocket with 18 points tonight. Let's go over to Craig Sager. Well, Rick Adelman warned his team. He said the Lakers may come out with another surge at the start of the third quarter, just as they did the start of the game. He said we have to weather it, take one possession at a time, continue to get back on defense, continue to work the offense inside out. He said that's what they did in the first half, even with Yao out of the game. As for Carl Landry, he says he's young, he's feisty, not always consistent, but he always plays hard, and that's the one thing about this team. He says they always play hard. I never have to worry about the effort. What a nice thing for a coach to be able to say about his team. Kevin. Thank you, Craig. And this is only the 36th game, Doug, that these Rockets in their current form have been together since the big trade. Well, you, you saw Kenny Smith with the thing in the jig at halftime <laughs> talking about the, the inside-out game, the posting of Scola, Ron Artest, of Yao Ming. And uh, that's what the Rockets are doing, playing inside-out. That opens up their three-point shooting, which is a big staple of their game. Daddy A is one of two. Fisher, a three. There was a late close by Brooks. And Derek Fisher gets a rare three-point hit. Doug, he's 4 of 5. He's got nine points tonight for the Los Angeles Lakers. I think it's important for the other Lakers to get involved here and not force Kobe Bryant to try to do too much in this third period. They need some more balance. And then in the fourth quarter, that should be Kobe time. He should not have to carry this team throughout. Screen by Yao. Fisher fights through that. Brooks and Gasol. And a reason not away from Scola. He did this in game one. He got two at the result the other way. Let's see what happens here. And a three on two. Gasol inside. And Vanny and Scola were right there in 10 28 to play here in the third quarter as Powell Gasol goes racing down the lane. Scola picks up number two. Turnovers. That's what's going to create the fast break opportunities. You're going to see the behind the, the shot there, knock away from Ariza. You see, Yao Ming can't get to Powell Gasol on the open floor. That's when he has the advantage when they're running. Scola comes out on Ariza. Yao comes out on Gasol. Artest had it. Is it knocked away by Kobe? It was off Artest. So Ron Artest was fighting with one arm to try to keep the Laker defender away and try to get the possession. When he's got to get both hands. When he gets both hands on the ball, you're not going to, you're not going to knock that ball loose from him. Daddy A quickly on Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant, 10 of 16. And a game high, 22 points for the LA Lakers. And we talk about that one point per shot tonight, uh, creeping up at about 1 3, 1 4. He's taken 16 shots, has 22 points. That's when the Lakers are basically unbeatable when he shoots at that kind of percentage. Stola, Artest, Odom is on Ron, shot clock at six. The drive by Artest with the left hand. He rolls it in with a. Nice drive to the cup, and he brings the Rockets to within three, and Ron Artest with 20. He is so strong. He gets that body on you. He just knocks you on your heels. Ariza allowed to fire by Scola. Rebound by Yao, playing in some foul trouble. That's the fourth rebound by Yao Ming. Congested lane for Scola. Triple team, including with Odom and Gasol. Picked up by Fisher. Bryant tries oh. on Shane Battier, who draws the foul as Kobe looks over at Doug Collins and said, this guy cannot guard me. <laughs> He's 11 of 17 is Kobe Bryant with the game high 24 right now and much more focused and obviously shaking the effects of the sore throat from the other night. Well, game you're going one. to watch this here. Shane gets that hand once again. This time he gets him with the body. <laughs> he looks over me. 
he is What you say to him that got him so irritated? I didn't say, don't say that oh, to me. Come on, you can... no, so now you want the Rockets fans mad at me? I didn't say anything to him. He said it to me. He said he's going to be on fire tonight. Well, Brian, that's what he said. He talked to you before. Well, I didn't game. give him any pep talks. Here's Bryant missing, and the other way comes Brooks, and he's over Fisher. So a nice move right there, and the Lakers down to three. With under nine to play now in the third. Daddy comes out on Odom, and they've got our chest on Kobe. Ariza and Gasol over Yao. That's a little jump shot. See, it's tough for, for Yao Ming to get out and play that. See, when he plays by them, he will give him that shot. Gasol loves that little medium range jump shot. Brooks is two of six, followed by Fisher. Skola and Odom. Double by Fisher late. Rebound by Odom. That's number eight for him. Rion three. Rockets get back well on defense. Just Daddy bumping into Kobe. One. Kobe Bryant is putting on a show. 26 points in 25 minutes. A spectacular display, and the Lakers back up by seven points. Well, Kobe has thrown out the life jacket. He's thrown out the dinghy. He said, everybody get on board here. I'm not going to let us get overtaken by this Rocket team. I mean, he's hitting incredible shots. Shane Battier, all he can do is put a hand in his face. Kobe is the quicker athlete when he gets to his spot. You can only hope he doesn't make those shots. They're not that is not the case. 12 of 19 for 26 points. By T-Mobile. Stay connected to all the heart-stopping NBA action with the T-Mobile G1. Great night to be on the Santa Monica Pier here in the... Southern California area. Recently, guard Jordan Farmar of the Los Angeles Lakers made a special visit to the Boys and Girls Club of San Pedro to meet the youngsters who entered the Lakers poster contest. Of course, Jordan grew up here in Los Angeles. He congratulated them on their winning artwork and commitment to arts and education. The NBA, where caring happens, especially for hometown hero Jordan Farmar in Los Angeles. Well, Doug, the beginning of the first quarter, the Lakers began at 16-8. Beginning of this third quarter, they have started 12-5 over Houston. Well, it, it's Kobe. He's he's excited his team. And, and you know, Kev, we talk all the time about when a star is playing great, what it does for the psyche of his teammates. And Kobe right now is giving him the feeling that I'm not going to let you lose tonight. Brooks over Fisher. This is a three with 10 on the shot clock. Scola lassoes the loose ball. Goes in on Gasol. And Paul Gasol collects his seventh rebound. And Kobe picked up by Battier. Little Scola defense and Yao. Boy, they were all converging, collapsing inside with 7.44 to play in the third. Ball knocked out of bounds. 16 seconds on the shot clock. Okay, that's what I talked about in the season when he was second uh, in the MVP voting. Points per shot, 1-3. First round, 1-3. Game one against Houston, one per shot. Tonight, 1.4. You start thinking 1.3, 1.4. That's what Michael Jordan and Kobe did in their all their championship years. And now it's uh, the, the, the Saul going to work inside. So just to give the fans a little perspective, you know, 1-3, one, 1-4 one, is tremendous production per shot. And that's what Michael and Kobe did in all their championships. It's a great equation, great way to look at the game. Battier goes inside to Yao, playing with three fouls. Shot clock at seven. Brooks will drive on Fisher. Gasol meets him as well. Odom got a hand on the ball. And Kobe Bryant the other way. The Lakers are on a 6 to nothing run right now. Here's Kobe. Odom into Yao. And that is a foul. And that is number four on Yao Ming. For one of those nights for Yao Ming. He just has not been able to get into the pace of this game. And it has nothing to do with his knee. That knee that he took, the shot that he took in the That's fourth quarter. You know, he told Craig Sager yesterday, my knee's fine. It's not bothering me. You see his heels there on the line. That's an easy call for Bill Spooner. And uh, this is Lamar Odom in the open court. So what we've seen here to start this third quarter is the Lakers have got back to playing the way they played in the first quarter, making it an open floor game. Yao Ming only one shot in the entire ball game. In the Portland series, he averaged 10 shots a game. They sandwiched him with the power forward and one of the centers. Only got 10, point, 10 shots a game. Game one, he had 17 shots against the Lakers and got to the line 10 times. He had 28 points. So tonight, the Lakers have done a nice job defending him, plus also foul trouble has really taken him out of this game. Hayes has come in for Yao. Odom at the strike. 
This game has contained six lead changes and three ties, and here comes Brooks. Quiet so far, two of eight with four points. Lakers are on an eight-nothing run. Obi and Battier screened by Battier. Here is Scola. Our test. Find a couple defenders in his face. Screened by Scola on Ariza. They switch on defense. They put out him on our test. Houston has missed four consecutive shots. Three. Wow. Ooh, seconds remained in a three-point shot by Ron Artest, who's got 23 points tonight. He's been magnificent for the second consecutive game in this series, the first game overall. Here's a runner on the wing, and that goes in. Doug and Kobe's got 28. See, that last possession by Ron Artest, that shot went in, but that's really not what the Rockets want. When they start dribbling the ball, getting against the clock, they want it in the post right there. Now, now they can go to work. Need to get something inside outside. Look at Fisher. Go head strong into the driving our test as he came and doubled as the defense was rotating and took it hard. And our test is a strong dude, man. Well, Derek Fisher is uh, playing very well tonight. You know, he's heard the rumbles here about the speed and quickness of Brooks and the problem that uh, Lowry and Brooks caused in game one tonight that has not been the case brooks is two for eight lowry is 0 for four so those two guards have combined two of 12 tonight and uh only four points those guys had 25 points yeah i mean 28 so 53 points combined by those three guys tonight six betty a and bryant quickly on him shot clock is down to five it's all doubling and Shane Battier hits his second shot in three. He's got five for the Houston Rockets. Well, the awareness of the clock getting ready to go down. Shane is not usually a guy that at the end of the clock manufactures anything. Bryant to Fisher. And Fisher over Brooks. A three miss. A rebound by Ariza. A good looking offensive rebound. And Trevor Ariza has put an eight for L.A. On the bench with four five. Aids out there in his place with our test. Brooks, Scola, and Shane Battier. Five and a half to play in the third. A Hayes screen that knocks out Fisher. The drive by Brooks. And that is a whistle with a little reach inside. The shot goes up and Scola, so yeah, and Scola does not uh, get his body on Ariza who finds the open lane. When that shot goes up like that, a lot of times you've got to turn and seek somebody out to get a body on him. That time, the reason had an open lane to the basket. They call the kickball, so the shot clock now down to seven. A test of Ariza. And over Odom, it's Scola. And an offensive rebound by Scola. Tonight is 4 of 11 shooting. Flex his second rebound. Odom will defend it. The Fisher come and double. Luis Scola. It's his third, make it fifth shot. He's got 10. Yeah, but again, with all this activity, the Lakers are still only up eight. And the Lakers have got to keep finding a way to get others involved. At time, it's going to be Kobe on the drive. But they cannot stand around and watch Kobe play. He's got to be the guy that has enough energy in that fourth quarter. If this Rocket team makes another push at them, then he can carry them. And you see these two guys, what they have done. Kobe Bryant already with 21 field goal attempts in the game. He had 31 in game two but uh, you know kevin i said a while ago i said you know, he's sort of trying to give his team that feeling that i'm not going to let you lose tonight what it reminds me of is what we talked about in that boston chicago series game three when paul pierce came out hit his first six shots at 13 right. in the first quarter and the and the uh celtics won that game and recaptured home court you look to your best player when you're in trouble like like if, if he's playing well you get a feeling of security if he's struggling it filters down to everybody else. Battier picks up his second personal foul. And Scola picked up by Odom at the other end. Our chest now picked up by Odom. Into Scola. It's oh, all yeah. knocked away by Odom. Shot clock at nine. Well, they got some uh, talking inside. Scola into Gasol and Odom. Rebound by Lamar. Number nine. Now Odom now is rebounding that basketball. He had one defensive rebound in game one. That's why he's in the starting lineup to bring more activity. Our test quickly comes out on a reason. Odom and Scola screened by Fisher. Switch on defense Brooks. Now Brooks goes back on Fisher. Shot clock is down to four. Fisher over Brooks for two. Rebound by Scola. 
Number three. Fisher, four or seven. Again, more ball rotation. No one rotates over to our test. And he nails the three. The offense rotated with one side to the other getting the ball, but the defense didn't follow suit. They did not rotate. So nine in this quarter for Ron Artest. Doug, as he nails the tray, he's got a Houston high 26 points. Oh, they just keep hanging around. This is what they do. Swing the ball to the other side. That ball actually bounced twice <laughs> before anybody rotated out. Nobody got a hand in the face. Phil Jackson said, timeout. We have to talk about this. We cannot give Ron Artest these kind of shots tonight the way he's shooting the ball. Two powerhouse players will collide for an all-new showdown. Meet the Browns on TBS. House of Pain on TBS. Don't miss brand new episodes of Tyler Perry's House of Pain, May 27th at 9, followed by the all-new season premiere of Meet the Browns at 10 on TBS. Kobe Bryant has hit a... We know drama. We had a review during our commercial break. They have taken away a point. It was a two-point shot, not a three, moments ago by Ron Artest. We've got just under four to play here in the third. Well, changing of the role for Ron Artest this year. Early in training camp, Phil Jackson said, I want you to come in and be our second unit player. His minutes are way down this year. Last year, he averaged about 39 minutes. This year, only 30. And you can see, Kevin, at the end of the last year, look at all the sleeves on his legs. You see the knee, the wraps on his legs and stuff. I mean, he had tendonitis. His legs were tired. And you saw that as the season wore down. Look at tonight here on the left. None of those sleeves. His minutes now are going back up because Bynum's minutes have slipped since he was injured. And so he's much fresher. And you can see in the uh, playoffs what he's done, especially in that Utah series, how well he played. Points in the paint, his rebounding back in the starting lineup tonight. And although uh, in the game he only has one field goal, nine rebounds, two assists, his speed now, what happens is now when Yao Ming is on the floor, he has to guard Gasol, which has opened up for Gasol to have 20 points tonight. So Odom being in the starting lineup has sort of unleashed Gasol. Lakers outscoring Houston in this third quarter, 22-15. to 15. And Tease comes out on Odom. Shot clock down to four. Lamar Odom. Rebound by Shane Battier, and that is his first of the night. He's been watching Kobe. Rockets outscored the Lakers 32-18 in that second quarter to tie it at 57 at halftime. Brooks has been quiet to of eight. They've been really been paying attention to him, haven't they? Well, they're keep keeping him out of the paint. He's not allowed to penetrate. It's free on top. Right yeah, it's over Odom. It's a three, and it's good! What a shot by Brooks. It was over the oncoming Russian blitz of Lamar Odom. That makes it a five-point game. Brooks was seven. Wasn't it Butch Cassidy in the Sunday? Because said, who are these guys? Where are these guys coming from? That's sort of what the Rockets are right now. You keep looking over your shoulder if you're the Lakers, and you say, why can't we put these guys away? Moving the ball, dribble penetration with the Rockets, it's making the extra pass. That's what they did. Shane makes the extra pass to Brooks, and that's when they're at their best, sharing the basketball. Hayes along with Shane Battier on Kobe Bryant, who turns it over. And the Lakers have not had any turnovers over the last 10 minutes. And for Kobe Bryant, Doug, his first turnover tonight with three assists. Now, with Odom, you know, playing less minutes just, uh, this year, his minutes are up in the playoffs. So are Kobe Bryant. He played 36 minutes a game this year, over 41 in the playoffs. So his minutes are up. Brooks into Fisher. Look at him swerve. The games we saw on him now. Shot clock at two. Fisher is guarding Brooks. Shot clock violation. As Yao sits on the bench with those four fouls, but really it's been the smaller lineup that has really paid dividends for the Houston Rockets tonight. Remember the other night, Phil Jackson could not take Kobe Bryant out in the second half. Right. And Kobe Bryant's played a lot of minutes here tonight. He's uh, in this ball game already. He has played... Uh, 31, 31 minutes, and uh, he might not get a rest here tonight if the Lakers don't have a cushion going into that fourth period. Ariza driving by Scola into our test. Gasol got a hand on it. Odom has a hand on it. New shot clock. Hayes, look at him, take it there. Ball inside, <laughs> and the turnover by Los Angeles. And here comes our test. Nine Los Angeles turnovers. Talk about some strong hands. Chuck Hayes just went down and took that ball away from Lamar Odom. Absolutely. Another wide open three by Brooks. The close by Ariza, and the rebound by Pau Gasol. He's got the double double with 10 rebounds and 20 points tonight. Kobe working hard against two, three defenders. As Shane Battyway grabbed his jersey and 
I mean, Kobe is frenetically working against this defense. He's spending up a ton of energy. Has, has Houston altered perhaps even with more double teams on Kobe in this third quarter? Don't no, you think? no, what they're doing is anytime he comes off a pick, you're going to see that big guy's going to get up and swarm him. You see Hayes, they're going to try to bottle him when he comes in the lane. They're going to force that kick out. That Ariza three is going to have to be there and knock down some shots. And the Lakers from three tonight are five of 14. Remember your game one, they were two of 18. Hayes picked up his third personal foul. The Lakers on top by six. They've led by 15. Rockets have led by as many as four. Bryant from the free throw line, three of four. And folks, a reminder, log on to NBA.com to enter the Barkley Zone. Exclusive interviews, opinions, and analysis straight from the mouth of Charles Barkley only on NBA.com. We've not seen Kobe at the free throw line a bunch. Not much in game one, Doug, and only, you know, four free throw attempts tonight in game two. Well, the the goal for the Rockets is keep him out of the paint, keep him off the line, try to make him shots, make shots under duress, and he's done that tonight. He's 13 of 21. He has 32 points, and it would be interesting to see at the end of this quarter is Phil Jackson going to rest him, and, and if he does, for how long? Landry for our test, Lowry for Scope. Wafer in the game. And he's doubled. Shot clock at 10. Battier and Kobe. Screen by Hayes. Switch on defense, Gasol. Lowry on the floor. Three. Rebound by Powell Gasol, number 11. That was a good rebound that time. Went on and took that. Fisher for three over Hayes. That's a foul. And three free ones coming up for Derek Fisher at the free throw line for the LA Lakers. And 103 to play in the third. Well, the last thing you want to do is foul a three point shooter. And then you even compound it by felling a struggling three-point shooter. And we've talked about Derek Fisher, 5 of 20, uh, going into the game tonight. Behind the line here, and Chuck Hayes comes over. He gets a piece of him. There's no question that he got to foul three free throws here for Derek Fisher. Hayes picks up his fourth personal foul. So Hayes, I believe, will leave. He does. And here comes Luis Scola in. Well, he's one of those role players we talked about a little bit in the first half, but you know, him and what Scola does, they, they've really constructed this Rocket team well. Well, that's what you do. Your, your, your complementary pieces have to fit, and that's what you do. When you, get, when you get pieces that fit, you get what I call that synergistic approach, where five guys almost seem like more, that the sum of the parts are greater than they are individually as, as a whole. So that, that's what this Rocket team is. It's not always pretty. And you heard Rick Adelman tell uh, Craig Sager early in the game, you know, I know we're always going to play hard. The effort is going to be there. And when they play well, they're a very tough team to beat. Vujicic for Ariza, Walton for Kobe Bryant. Kobe with 32 points, 12 in the quarter. Fisher, it's all three at the strike. There's a little hook. It's an offensive foul, and it goes on Von Wafer of the Houston Rockets. With under a minute to play here in the third. Wafer with his third. Well, this is a big finish for the Lakers in this quarter because now you get Kobe Bryant off the floor. This is what Phil Jackson desperately wanted, to be able to get Kobe off the floor to buy him some minutes before going into that fourth quarter. Walt to Odom. He beats Scola inside. Lamar Odom with seven points and ten rebounds. Lowry quickly the other way to Wafer. He's picked up by Sasha Vujicic. Lakers have a foul to give. Fighting through a lot. Landry screen. Vujicic tried to come out on the shot by Wafer. Rebound by Odom, number 11. Landry on Odom. Now Scola on Odom, who is crushing inside. And Scola and Odom have some words together. And now Walton and Scola have a couple of words. With 29 seconds to play in the third. Now Vujicic comes over with Skola. Skola's got the entire Lakers team tipped off him. He's had a conversation with just about everybody. It's going to be a technical foul on somebody, I guarantee you. It's going to be a two-shot foul. And then see what uh, Joey has out there. It's going to be a technical on Skola. And it's going to be a technical on Lamar Odom. And it's going to be a technical probably on Luke Walton. And, you know, you could see this coming because it was a few timeouts ago that Joey Crawford went in both huddles and basically said, calm it down, too much chatter. And there's the hit in the head that Odom gets. As the play goes over, you see these guys, they were chirping earlier. They were warned earlier. Then Luke Walton comes over and gets in the fray. Scola's got something to say to him, so Joey's going to stop this real quickly. Starting to get a little testy here. That's what happens. We've seen it in series before. Lamar Odom with the smile.
Scola picked up his third foul. See, what you had there is there's only the reason there was only one technical shot is because there was offsetting technicals, three technicals, two on the Lakers, one on. You see Billy Spooner is explaining it here right now. Three technical fouls, two on the Lakers, one on the Rockets. The two offsets, only one technical being shot. Now, that is, you have to watch it now because the next technical you're ejected. So a lot of people say, well, what good does it do to call double technicals if you don't shoot free throws? Because on the next one, you're ejected. That's, that's what it does. Odom is at the line because Scola picked up his third personal foul. Here comes Josh Powell for Powell Gasol. Powell for Powell. And see, now Gasol gets a rest, so he's put in a heavy night tonight with his minutes. He and Kobe have combined for 52 points. Odom has come alive here in this quarter. Seven points, but more importantly, 11 rebounds. So the rebounding tonight, 34 to 24 in favor of the Los Angeles Lakers. And in that second quarter, when the Rockets made their push, they did it by getting in that paint and rebounding and getting on the offensive glass. Lowry is 0 of 5 in 10 minutes. He was effective in game one. Yeah, tonight he and uh, Brooks. Oh, what a shot by Fisher right in the face of Scola. And that was, that was, uh, there was meaning to that. It reminds Absolutely. me a little bit of uh, Darren Williams when uh, we were in here late in the year when he got fouled, did not get it called, and ran down and went right into Bynum and took a foul. Derek Fisher is one tough customer. He knew Scola was coming up behind him, and he was going to let him know we're not going to take that tonight. So it'll be interesting to see what they call here on Derek Fisher. Will this be a flagrant foul? Could it be a technical or is it just going to be a personal? Is it a scratch there on his head? He does. There's Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher is quietly one of the toughest players in the NBA. And when he came back to the Lakers, he brought that savvy, that toughness, of a three-time champion kobe trusts him so much but you see it right there he saw oh, him coming wow and that, that there was a message in that absolutely like, like believe me take that so we're going to see here what the referees decide on this and he saw him he, I mean, he saw him his arm came up and that there was a message to that you know sometimes your toughness comes other place on the floor than just your big guys and this guy's a tough guy Derek fisher the force of the hit so hard, he hit his head and drew some blood. It is a flagrant two. And they're looking at it on the replay with the discussion ensuing, as you can see, in 13.2 to play of the third. Well, if it's a flagrant two, he's ejected. Yep. And, and then they get two shots and the ball. He is ejected. Phil Jackson very upset. I think he could have dealt with a flagrant one, but a flagrant two. Now you have no Fisher here in the fourth quarter if this game gets close. You see his teammates there giving him a high five or whatever as he leaves. But uh, now all of a sudden, Scola will shoot two free throws. What what uh, Rick Adelman is saying, if it's to Shane Battier, if it's a technical he wants Batty to shoot. It's not. It's a flagrant two. Now, if it were a flagrant two and Scola was hurt on that play, then Rick Adelman could have any of his players shoot the free throw. So that was the other night, remember, against He's Brad Miller. If, if that would have been a flagrant two, then Vinny Del Negro could have chosen any player. He could have had Ben Gordon or his best free throw shooter take it. But now with Scola not being injured on the play, that Scola will shoot the free throw. Scola from the line tonight, one of one. We'll see how this changes the game. You well, know, sometimes you know, things like this that can change the series, too. It, it, could, uh, it could unite the Rockets. It could be a dose that, uh, that helps the Lakers. But more importantly, I mean, there's two free throws. And as good as the Lakers have been in this quarter, they're down nine. You hit a two, seven. You hit a three at six. So this is a big defensive possession here for the Lakers to try to get a stop. Shannon Brown has taken the place of Derek Fisher. Daddy will inbound. 13 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Lowry has it. Shannon Brown out of Michigan State will be on him. 
Now Powell. Lowry trying to go through both. Hulyacic over Wafer at midcourt. And a double dribble. Dribbling violation of 1.6 to play in the third. Now, Sacha Vujicic has just struggled tonight. He struggled the other night. He's not been able to find his game. They, they need him. If they're going to be a championship team, they're going to need him to get some good play off the bench because he was on the closing team last year. Odom closed the games as well as Vujicic. Lowry over Brown. Good if it goes. That takes us to the end of a very firework-filled third quarter. Lakers on top by nine at the end of three. Kobe at a 12-point third. They're watching the NBA playoffs on TNT. One game, one Monday. Lakers on top here after 386-77. Moments ago, our Craig Sager caught up with Laker head coach Phil Jackson. Well, coach, three technicals and a flagrant two that led to Derek Fisher's ejection all in the final 29 seconds of that quarter. I saw you talking to the officials. Why were you so upset? Uh, we had an incident in Utah series where a guy ran across the court and hit somebody like that, and they called a foul. There wasn't even a flagrant one or a flagrant two. You know, so it's an inconsistency in what they call it. You know, these guys are adamant that they're right about it, but, you know, we just have to, you know, play it out, go on through. How do you play this fourth quarter without Fisher? That's going to be interesting. You know, we're going to have to have some young guys in there handling the situation in a, you know, critical situation now. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Kevin. Right now, it's going to be Jordan Farmar beginning this fourth quarter. And Aliou Walton to Bynum with Yao in the game for Houston. Just starting the fourth quarter. Brooks, Artest, Yao, Lowry, and Landry out there for the Houston Rockets. Look at the drive by Lowry. To Landry, who drops a sledgehammer inside. Landry with the career playoff high 18. Well, that, that's all caused because Bynum will not leave Yao Ming. He was, he was locked up, and he's told to stay with him. So there's got to be weak side help on that. You get in the lane like that on that drive. That's what Brooks did the other night in the fourth quarter about two or three times. Screen on Lowry by Bynum. That opens up the shot by Sasha Vujicic, his first in two tries. He's got two. For this second unit, Lamar Odom and, and Luke Walton have to be the guys who really stabilize this Laker team with Bynum out there, Farmar, and Vujicic. Landry fouled by Vujicic. It's the second on Sasha Vujicic. Well, Doug, the fourth quarter story, not only in the regular season, but in game one, has been prominent so far with the battle between these two teams. And I think everybody felt the other night when the Lakers took the lead in that fourth quarter, it was going to be the same old story. It wasn't. The Rockets fought back. This is going to be a closely called fourth quarter. And remember the importance of the Rockets getting into the penalty early. In game one, they were 16 of 17 from the foul line, and Yao Ming was 8 of 8. So the Lakers are going to have to play without fouling. Walton picks up his first. Second team foul on the Los Angeles Lakers. Shot clock is at five. Our test smothered by Walton's defense. And by two. Oh, and he got it to go in on the tip. Yao Ming with the basket. First field goal since 10-14 left in the first quarter. Yao with four. A great clock awareness. Bynum made a nice block, and Yao Ming knew the clock was winding down. He had to throw it up in one motion. Landry watching Walton. Yao got a hand on it. Jumped in front of Bynum, who picks up the foul for the L.A. Lakers. Bynum with his second of the game. The shot is blocked by Bynum. You see it, and you see Yao Ming just all in one motion throw this ball off the glass. Yeah, but here we go once again, down by seven. The Rockets hanging around very, very close, putting the pressure here on the Lakers at home. Brooks, screened by Yao. Bynum has got Brooks. Look at the diving farmer. Steals the ball, gets it off the wall. Followed by Lowry to the trailing field. What a beautiful play. Beautiful play, and all by Farmer getting down on the floor. He has the quickness to play against Aaron Brooks. You have Brooks and Lowry on the floor together. Farmer with a great play there. Walton with a nice drop-off pass. And Walton trying to watch our test at the other end. Rebound by Landry. Smothered with Laker defenders. Picked up by Bujicic. Rockets back on defense. Screened by Odom. Odom an open three. Landry the late close. The rebound by Artest. I'm not sure they need that three from Odom there. I know he shot it well against Utah. Drive that ball, get it inside, maybe put some more pressure on Yao Ming. I need long jump shots right now. 
Artest with 25. Into Walton, into Bynum, into Odom. The ball knocked free. Another turnover. Three on two. Odom. Farmer. And he was uncovered, sliding it off the wing. Timeout, Houston. And the Lakers without Derek Fisher, who was ejected for off by 11 points. With about three minutes gone in the fourth quarter. Well, when you turn the ball over against the Lakers, it's going to cost you. Back-to-back -back plays. First it was Brooks. This time it's Ron Artest. Too much dribbling in congestion. Houston, three turnovers in this quarter. And they've made them pay twice with two easy layups. Four points to push it to 11. Welcome back to L.A. The Lakers are leading by 11. At the end of the third quarter, when tempers and technicals were flying, Ron Wafer was on the bench for Houston. He had words with Rick Adelman. Adelman said he'd had enough, sent Wafer to the locker room. He was escorted back there by the Rockets' CEO, Tad Brown. I then asked Tad Brown when he came back what had happened. He said, ask Daryl Morey, the general manager of the Rockets. I talked to Daryl Morey. He said, just report the facts. Well, the facts are that Wafer had words with Adamant. Adamant kicked him off the bench, sent him to the locker room. Wafer is already showered. He's not going to be back tonight. Just what you need is a bench player, you know, yelling and stuff at the coach. I mean, that's a terrible distraction for the Rockets. Kobe Bryant has come in for Bynum. There's a foul on Vujicic. That is the third on him. And while Kobe was sitting, Doug, and you referred to this just moments ago, as the third goes on Vujicic, the Lakers plus two points with Kobe sitting. And now that's four team fouls already on the Lakers. We've played about, uh, what, uh, two minutes? Uh, a little over three. Three minutes yep. and ten seconds. They shoot free throws the rest of the way. So, again, the Lakers are going to have to defend without fouling. Lakers 92 points tonight. That's what they had the entire game tonight. So the pace of the game right now is in their favor. Brown for Vujicic for the Lakers. The sub. Shot clock is down to five. In the yell. Got by Bynum. Stripped of the ball by Walton. And that is a foul. So a foul goes on Walton. That is the second on him. That'll put Yao Ming at the free throw line. Look at it. Comes with 8.37 to play here in the fourth. And Yao is only missed two free throws. In the entire playoffs, this is first trip to the line. Tonight, we can tell you about the national coverage of the NBA playoffs. Tomorrow on ESPN, Game 2 of the Hawks and Cavs, coverage at 7.30 Eastern. Saturday on ABC, Game 3 of the Cavs and Hawks, coverage begins at 8 o'clock Eastern. Sunday on TNT, Game 4 of the Celtics and the Magic. And earlier tonight, Boston even their series with Orlando with a win of 112-94. Rondo the triple-double, Eddie House exploding for 31. Howard with 12 and 12 as Yao gets his first points at the free throw line. One and then misses number two. And picked up by Lowry. It's going to be another foul on Bynum riding out to Yao Ming. So it could be a foul fest here. And this does not help the Lakers. The game stops. Yao Ming goes to the foul line. And remember, this Rocket team over the last three years has not been a good come from behind team. They're not a team that creates points off their defense they're a good defensive team but you can see the last three years on the road five and 46 this season three and 16 the little team that's very much better a front running team where their defense can stop you they come down and run their offense so yeah uh, excuse me as uh, Bynum sits down Gasol will be back in the ball game Shane Battier checking in now to uh, play Kobe Bryant he'll be in for Landry Houston, no fouls in this quarter, Doug. That was the sixth on the Los Angeles Lakers. So like to talk about, we're going to see some free throws. It's what Houston wants to do. Where they're going to be in a high-scoring game. We've got eight and a half to play in this one. Well, and now what's happened is the Rockets have gone to a small lineup, too. Now, Ron Artest has slid down. Now he's going to play as a power forward. Uh, so he will be matched up here against Luke Walton. So really, it's Yao Ming and four perimeter players right now for the Houston Rockets. You just saw the identical numbers at the free throw line for both teams. Screened by Walton. This is an open lane for Farmer to drive. He went inside. Rebound by Lowry. Boy, he's a tough kid, isn't he? You know, the size of Yao Ming just bothered uh, Jordan Farmer enough to miss that shot. Battier, Walton on him. Look at Powell and... Yao battling outside the lane. Brooks, shot clock is at seven. Following in is Farmer. This is what Brooks did so effectively in game one, but he doesn't cash in that time. Rebound by Luke Walton, who picks up his first board. Kobe the other way. He's got 32, matching his game one high. Now he's got fresh legs right now. Look for Kobe to try to finish this game. Ah, with the screen. Brooks fights through that. Farmer, Bryant over Battier. 
seven on the shot clock. Rebound by Ron Artest. That's his third. Brooks, three of 12. Lowry. Pressures into Farmer. That is a foul on Lowry, his second. See, what do you have now with the Rockets out there? They have two guys that can create off the dribble. Ron Artest can handle the ball. So if they're going to pay all kinds of attention uh, to Yao Ming, they can create something. That time, it was Jordan Farmar doing a nice job getting outside the restricted area where you feel these Laker fans are. Dak Nicholson on his feet trying to get these Laker fans excited. And uh, Luke Walton with a little baseline jump shot over Yao. That's got to have a lot of arc on it. Nice little give and go that time. Luke Walton making a contribution tonight after being out with that uh, foot injury. Walton's got four in 13 minutes. Battier finds Yao. Will they double with Walton? Over to Shaw. Loose ball for Ed is on the Houston Rockets. Be on Ron Artest. Ron Artest. Kobe Bryant is going to be very careful, but he does not get a technical. He said that uh, he's going to go over here. He's talking to Kobe. Wow. Here, here we go. Uh-oh. He went right over to Bryant. Did Ron Artest. Remember now, the last time they did this, Kobe scored 18 points about the last four and a half minutes of the game. Ron Artest has uh, gotten very, very upset. I think they have thrown Ron Artest out of the game. Uh, Ron Artest said Kobe hit him in his throat. Wow, this series is getting chippy to say the least. Our test now out of the game. He's got to make sure he leaves and goes to the locker room in a timely fashion so he does not get anything added to this penalty. Well, let's go back to March 11th. Kobe Bryant scored 37 points in a Laker win in Houston. 18 of Bryant's points came in the final 413 of the game despite some physical play from Ron Artest. Both were SSTs in the fourth quarter after they began jawing at each other. So there is history. Let's see what happens here. Let's see underneath the basket. Oh, it looked like Kobe elbow, got him yep. with the right elbow up underneath sure his, uh, in his uh, throat. That's what made Ron Artest so unhappy. Now he goes over and says something to Kobe. Kobe says, get out of here. And uh, Joey Crawford getting in there quickly. Very smart to do. Landry for Artest. Kobe is 4 of 5 at the free throw line tonight. 33rd. Craig, what have you found out? Well, all this is happening in front of Stu Jackson, the executive vice president of basketball operations for the NBA. He told me just moments ago all of these plays will be reviewed tonight. He will review the flagrant two on Derek Fisher, an automatic rejection. He will determine whether or not he should be suspended for game three. Also, the elbow to see if a flagrant will be added to Kobe Bryant. All this will be recommended by Stu Jackson to the commissioner. will make the final word. But the recommendation will come from Stu Jackson, who is witnessing all this in person. Kevin? Walton over Landry. And the tap in by Powell Gasol. Well, Doug, one of your keys tonight, Gasol had to come to play, and he has 22 points and 13 rebounds in 31 minutes. Six and a half to play. There's a whistle inside. This is going to be a long fourth quarter. It's going to be a <laughs> lot of whistles here, Coach, because these officials know and this is just the second game of the series. And remember now, the Lakers have lost home court. They have to go to Houston and win a game to be able to swing home court back in their favor. They're very confident. They were 29-12 and 12 on the road this year, was the best road record in the NBA. And the Rockets are very confident on their home floor. Paul Gasol picked up his first personal foul. There is no Laker player with more than three fouls, including Ariza. Fisher has been ejected. Three on Vujicic. He's on the bench right now. And for the Houston Rockets, they've got a couple players with four, including Yao. A test, of course, we know what's happened to him. Yao knocks down both free throws. Okay, Kevin, if the Lakers win here tonight, we have game five next Tuesday. You and I. ABC ESPN has games three and four. No telling what we're going to be reporting on in game five. Here is another whistle. So just believe me, any contact now is going to be a foul. Joey Crawford and Bill Spooner and Greg Willard, three very good officials, have gotten together. Stu Jackson in the stands, that little Blackberry he has, he's sending message to himself <laughs> what, what he wants to look at at the end of the game. What if he's texting uh, Reggie's Blackberry mailbag? 
Kobe over Battier. And Kobe Bryant has got a game high 35. It's going to be a technical on Kobe for taunting Shane Battier, saying you cannot guard me. So I'm telling you, the whistles right now are going to be are going to be <laughs> blown. Yao had picked up his fifth foul moments ago. As Bryant just had the tee on him, and here is Yao at the free throw line. Where he is five of six with nine points. That is his eighth point of this fourth quarter. Watch Kobe as he knocks this shot down. He runs down the floor. And he's saying something, you can't guard me. And Joey Crawford was right there. He stops it. You see Shane with a little uh, sheepish smile on his face. And Kobe now 35 points on 23 shots. So his efficiency tonight has been off the charts. He now is talking to Joey Crawford. He says, look, I'm not going to let you say that. Not with what's going on here tonight. Brooks gets a screen from Yao, knocks out Farmer. Daddy A and Kobe. Another screen, this one's set by Lynn. Three-point shot by Brooks, that's good. Brooks has got 10, 4 of 13. It's a nine-point game. And some full court now by the Rockets. And now remember, no Derek Fisher. Yep. So it's going to be either Shannon Brown or Farmar, or somebody's going to have to settle this team down and uh, finish this game. They don't have that steady hand of Derek Fisher, who has three rings. Kobe and Battier. Shot clock is down to five. Foul on Shane Battier. Number three. And a timeout. 5.27 to play. Lakers, who have led by as many as 15 and trailed by as many as four, now on top by nine. This is game two of the Western Conference semifinals on TNT. Playoffs on TNT brought to you by AutotraderClassics.com. Do you have a passion for classic cars? We'll show off yours. Search for new ones or find events by joining the AutotraderClassics.com community. By the new Hyundai Genesis. It all starts with this. By Blackberry. Check out Reggie's Mailbag at NBA.com slash Reggie's Mailbag. And by McDonald's McCafe. I'm loving it. We've had five technicals. We've had two ejections, and this is only game two. <laughs> yes, we have. There's Fish. That's after Scola had gotten into it with uh, Luke Walton down on one end of the floor. There's been two, three technicals actually on the possession before. Here's Kobe Bryant. Goes that right elbow into, excuse me, right elbow into the uh, throat of Ron Artest, and this uh, sets him off. He goes over and says something to Kobe. Don't put your elbow up in my throat he gets thrown out so I mean all this is going on 527 to go and we still got a three possession game with a rocket team that makes uh, over eight threes a game a lot of time left in this ball game who's going to have the composure to finish the game yao has got five fouls he watches Gasol who kicks it out to Farmar and it's picked up by Landry you know remember the Rockets anytime they go into Yao oh, oh, beautiful oh, play by Walt Farmar into Brooks Rebound again by Landry. Let's see if it's cleaner. Here it is. Here comes Brooks. The 10. Lowry is scoreless in six tries. Holton on him. Howe and Yao. Dueling outside the lane. Shot clock at nine. That was a deflected pass. Kobe Bryant with Brooks on his tail. And Shane pushes him. That he just pushed Kobe Bryant, who just put in his 37th point. Story of the game, turnovers. Feeding the Laker fast break. This is 19 fast break points now for the Lakers. So many of them off turnovers. Yao Ming, a careless one-hand pass off the dribble that was deflected. See Kobe Bryant stepping through the defender, looking over his shoulder. Chance for a three-point play. Give Kobe 38 points. It will be 20 fast break points for the Lakers after having only 10 in the first game so you can see the speed game of the Lakers if they go on to win will be the difference Daddy A his fourth personal foul that's the story Doug was just talking about fast oh, break oh, diving is Landry got the loose ball traveled inside the lane now Landry and Kobe are John we go back to the turnovers 19 turnovers tonight for the Rockets for 21 points 15 assists 
19 turnovers. In game one, they got away with it. 16 assists, 18 turnovers. Tonight, more turnovers and assists once again. Well, seven turnovers died in this fourth quarter alone for the Houston Rockets. And here's a pass from Gasol to Farmer. They had seven in the fourth quarter the yes. other night and played through it. Good point. Battier watching Kobe. Scooping, driving, and putting it in. How in the world did he do that? He passed to himself off the backboard. Oh, that was a, that was a wow. planned play, Kevin. I've seen him do that a lot. He's got 40. Rush to Yao, Yao into Gasol. Gasol's defense jars it free. An eighth turnover in this quarter. 20th for the game. Farmer picked up by Brooks. Out to Walt Landry Convergence. Well, the Lakers defense is swarming on Yao Ming. When he gets that ball in the paint tonight, they're scratching claw, they're digging. Battier watching Kobe Bryant. Rebound by Yao Ming, playing with five fouls. Rebound number eight with his ten points. Farmar is on Brooks, and Gasol is on Yao. Yao Ming, he's got 12. It's the first time we've really seen tonight where he's been able to be the recipient of getting that ball inside, kicking it back out, reposting deeper, and getting a score. He did that three or four times in the first game. You see the points in the paint. Now he's got the majority of his points, 10 of 12 in this fourth quarter. Here is Pau Gasol. Yao defending with five fouls. Five seconds on the shot clock. Just a bit of history. Kobe's got 40 points. He scores four more. He will pass Larry Bird for number six all-time in playoff scoring in the history of the league. Timeout here. Phil Jackson is going to draw up a play here with five seconds on the shot clock. A little over three minutes to go. Kobe Bryant in a straight jacket, as you say, Kevin. So what does he do? He throws the ball off the glass and just is so hungry to get that ball back. Talk about a smart player. Not only is he a brilliant player, but he's a brilliant mind for this game. Big play, and you see Kobe said, I'm not letting us lose tonight. Goodyear, new Fuel Max tires help you get there using less gas. Fuel Max only from Goodyear. And the blimp tonight, captained by Kristen Davis, who, when not on the show Sex in the City, drives the blimp. <laughs> Good job, Kristen. Thank you so much for these great scenics tonight of the sold-out Staples Center. Well, Doug, 3-0-2 to play. We've had a couple of ejections. Eric Fisher on one side and Ron Artest on the other. Well, when the Lakers have cranked up their defense in the fourth quarter, the Rockets have not handled it. Eight turnovers here, 11 points off those turnovers. Rockets, uh, excuse me, Lakers have had no turnovers. Why not Jordan Farmar? Everybody else is in the act. Jordan Farmar hit a three in game one. He struggled in the first series against Utah. Barely played. This ties LA's biggest lead. Lowry right down the middle of the lane, knocked away by Gasol, and picked up by Shannon Brown. The backpedaling defense of Battier. Kobe. That was interesting. Kobe between games one and two, he said, you know, last year we cakewalked to the NBA Finals. To get there, you got to be tested. They're being tested right now, and Jordan Farmer unloading the three. They're getting a test now from the Rockets. Three by Brooks over Farmer. That is good. His second tonight. He's got 13. Talk about a month ago. You said, you know, there might be two teams in the West that could really give them a push as you saw it. Perhaps Portland, maybe Houston. Well, the Rockets have guys who can guard Kobe or at least make him work. And sure. Obviously, tonight he's got 40 points, so they're not shutting him down, but they can make it work. They have a big man inside in Yao Ming, and I thought this guy, Aaron Brooks, in their point guard play would be crucial for them. He was terrific against Portland. And tonight, he's coming to life here a little bit later, but he was very good in game one. He had 19 points in that game, but if he plays well, you know, Shane Battier can make Kobe work hard. You've got Artest inside. What he brings, Yao Ming's size, who has not been a factor tonight with fouls. But now they got to go home and find a way to beat the Lakers at home. It's going to be very interesting game three. You would have told Houston they'd come out of here with the win of the first two games, they would have taken it. Absolutely. It's Walton, and it's over Landry. Rebound by Yao. Well, it looks like Yao Ming just knocked out one of his own guys. I think that's Lowry who's down on wow, the floor. Got hit right. with an elbow in the jaw. This shot outside. That was a three-point try by Shane Battier, who tonight is two of four. And Farmar the other way. And Yao Ming goes back and makes sure his teammate is okay. you got two tough... 
groups of guys going at it. And this is going to be a lot of fun, this series. Rugged. The saw to Brown. Brown into Lowry. Shannon Brown has come off the bench and put in seven points in 14 minutes for the Los Angeles Lakers. Now into Gasol. No fouls to give. Each team with three timeouts remaining. Brooks. Batty A. Go beyond it. He's had a terrific game. He was driving by Gasol and was fouled on the play. And Powell picks up number two with just under 44 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. So this will put the Rockets at the line and give us a chance, Doug, to survey once again your keys to the game. Well, you know, I'm big on that first quarter tonight. It was all Lakers, 39-25. Kobe with a brilliant start. The Lakers story, they did not shoot it well in the uh, in the first game. Only 2 of 18 for 3, 44% tonight, 49%. But look at this, plus 15 fast break. They got the pace of the game where they wanted it. Up at the co-stars, Odom and Gasol tonight, 29 points and 25 rebounds combined. And the ending, so the Houston fell apart under the pressure. Eight turnovers, the Lakers only won. 11 points off those turnovers. Bonnet, Artest ejected. A lot of things going here in this fourth period. Kobe Bryant with a big hand. He will not pass Larry Bird tonight. He will need three to do that in game three. But uh, basically what he told his team tonight is, we're not going to lose. And he, he, he got him off to a great start. But I will tell you, the Rockets got their attention in that second quarter. They stood toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The game was tight at half after that big first quarter. I think the Rockets feel very comfortable going home that they have a great chance to win game three. James White has checked in the game along with Brian Cook. Brian Cook was drafted and played for a while with these Los Angeles Lakers. They come in for the Houston Rockets. The saw it knocked away by Hayes. Allen to Luke Walton. 23 seconds to play. 111-96, the Los Angeles Lakers and Walton Scott, six points, coming back after missing so much time. Since the series with Utah in late April, he comes back tonight and gets some credible minutes. This is Brian Cook for three. Landry cleans it up. So this series will be tied at 1-1. Going back to Houston for games three and four. The Lakers had to win tonight. This would have been tough going back down two games to Houston. Absolutely, and uh, Luke Walton happy to be back out on the floor. And he's a big part of this Lakers second unit. Farmar had some good minutes tonight. And uh, sets up a very interesting game three. But, Kevin, once again, if the game is 110 or up, the Rockets just can't beat the Lakers at that kind of game. Will they be able to go get a defensive handle in game three? And the man of the hour, 40 points. Or Kobe Bryant is, is with our Craig Sager. Sakes? Well, thanks, Doug. Kobe, you said before the game you're going to be on fire, but there are flaring tempers and heated exchanges all over the place. How severely are you being tested by this Houston Rockets team? It's the playoffs. You know, this is what it's about. Ron Artest, obviously a very tough defender at one point. He was ejected. He claimed that you threw an elbow to him. What happened in that exchange? Yeah, we're playing basketball. There's a lot of contact that takes place. And, you know, if you're going to be physical, you got to expect players to be physical back. One of the physical plays, Derek Fisher, ran into Luis Scola. He was ejected with a flagrant, too. We know Fish is a tough guy. But was that a cheap shot? And you were worried he may be suspended for game three? No, I didn't see it. To be honest with you, I didn't see it, so I don't know. You talked a little bit about cakewalking throughout the series. You wanted to be tested. Is this what you wanted? And at what point in this game did you say, hey, I'm not going to let my team lose tonight? You know, right from the opening tip, we wanted to be aggressive, you know, get after it a little bit. You know, we're being tested, so, you know, this is when it's the most fun, to be honest with you. And uh, we're looking forward to going up there. One thing, you're no longer the MVP. LeBron James got that award last night. How did you feel about him winning and you coming in second? You know what? I, I, I'm very happy for him, to be honest with you. You know, he's put in a lot of work, and he's very well deserving of it. Well, you're the MVP tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Well, one story about that. Kobe Bryant has spent time at the Olympic uh, Games and overseas working with LeBron. And LeBron has taken a lot of the attention to detail, Doug, that Kobe Bryant uses to make his game flourish so much. Well, well, well said. I think that those two guys being together over the last couple summers, LeBron has learned so much from Kobe. And you see uh, Kobe giving his wife there a big kiss after the game. This is a tired man right here. He had to fight for every one of these 40 points. Doug, enjoyed it as always. We'll see you next week. Game five, baby, here Tuesday. Here we go. Our producer tonight, Scott Cockrell, and our director, Lonnie Dale. Special thanks to David Frazier and David Glassman, along with Jeff Paris, Tommy Heights, and Sammy Polis.
Craig Sager and Doug Collins. This is Kevin Harlan saying goodnight from Los Angeles, where Kobe Bryant put in 40, and the Los Angeles Lakers have tied this second round series against the Rockets at 1-1. Now we take you to our TNT Arena and Ernie Johnson.